Today, guys, we're taking a look at the Cardinal Bob Magnet in GTA 5. I completely forgot I had access to this in story mode, and we've been wanting Rockstar to add this to GTA Online for the longest time, because it's honestly really cool, and then I'd actually start using the cargo bob again. You guys know how annoying it is using that little hook? Well, with the magnet, all you gotta do is go near the vehicle, and it'll just get sucked right up into the air. You could be really, really high up as well, which is also fairly useful, but this magnet is very, very buggy, and that's probably why Rockstar has not added it to GTA Online, and you're gonna see why in just a couple of seconds here. This part, though, is kinda cool. Since it's a magnet, you can turn it on and off, and that means you could drop your vehicle and then pick it back up in the air, which, I have to admit, is pretty fun to do. But then the buggy stuff starts to happen because there is no on off switch for the magnet. The magnet is always on, but it won't actually pick up the vehicle until you want it to. You have to click E and then it'll get picked up. You're going to see what happens to this tank right here, though. I fly right by it and the tank starts getting pulled in that direction as well. And that would cause a lot of havoc in GTA 5. And even when I drop the vehicle, no longer picking it up, the magnetic force is still super strong since we can't turn it off. You can see it's still pulling that little vehicle around, which once again would cause a whole lot of craziness in the streets of Los Santos. And here's an exact example of this. Like I said, it cannot be turned off. I'm not trying to pick up any vehicles yet. That's why they're not latching onto the magnet. So they're just getting dragged around everywhere. But I do have to say, having something like that would be really fun. Imagine how many pedestrians you could torment using this magnet in its exact state. If Rockstar does decide to release this though, these bugs will definitely need to be fixed. Like, look at what just happened. Everything just got blown up completely. And then you can see there, I actually picked up the car when I wanted to. So they definitely need to add an on and off switch. And once you have a vehicle hooked onto the magnet, the magnetic field would have to be reduced a lot or something like that because this type of shit would be way too much. And another issue is, you guys can see how I'm picking up this tank, but if it keeps getting dragged like this, it's going to end up hitting the cargo bob, and then you're going to go fly around everywhere and then just crash, which you're going to see once again in a second. So the cargo bob magnet would be so much fun to have in GTA Online, but Rockstar would need to fix a bunch of bugs with it, or else it's pretty much going to be unusable. But at the same time, it'd be really, really fun to torment people. I swear we have used this before in GTA 5, like to pick up some containers or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, and I have no idea which mission we actually did it in, but if Rockstar has added it before with no bugs, then why haven't they just added it to GTA Online by now? The very first time we ever saw the magnet on the cargo bob was when the Fleeka Job heist came out. That's way back when PS4 was first released. That is such a long time ago, and I'm still shocked that we can't actually have access to one of those on our cargo bob in game. I think it would be a lot of fun, and if there is a non-buggy version that we've used before in GTA Online, I think they should definitely add it. Let me know what you guys think of it down below in the comments section. Which magnet would you rather use in GTA 5? The normal one with no bugs, or the one that I showcased in this video? Personally, I'd like to have access to both, but we all know the one in this video would probably ruin the game. 